It will um, cause you to make decisions and, and come to conclusions and different things like that. And right. so that's why um, the Bible tells us about, you know, we have to allow these old things to be passed away. Mm. We have Amen. to, Amen. a renewing of the mind because we, as a child, you shape, you look at the things that you're going through and the certain things that happen in your life. My God. And you begin to define and say, that's who I am, but that's not who you are. You're not your situations or your circumstances. Come on, mm. come on. Praise come on. God. That is something that you just went through. Yeah. Wow. And so I, I just praise God for, for my journey. I praise God for uh, the path that he had me on mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it brought me to this place that I am right now. Amen. Wow. Amen. Wow. Amen. I mean, God is God is so good. And, you know, you your story to, you know, come from a place. So you're you're actually born with that condition. Yes. When I was a boy, my mom told mm -hmm. me that I had uh, uh, my bones had it developed in and my knees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so um, I had some situation going in. So they um, told her that I had to have surgery. I uh, wasn't sure if I would be able to walk mm -hmm. afterwards, a 50 percent um, chance that I would. And so um, uh, through that journey and having mm. those surgeries and wow. uh, and then after that, uh, just remember pulling up on the floor and looking, mm. seeing other kids play outside, but wondering why I couldn't do that, why I couldn't go outside to play. And after going through that process and able to walk, then I was um, mm. uh, fluid with. I would have fluid in both knees and mm -hmm. I would have to have fluid drained twice a month. A lot of pain. Yes, yeah. and still was in pain and going through certain things. Mm. But um, I just praise God because even after that particular mm. journey, you get to go outside and play. Yes. Then I find out I'm allergic <laughs> to outdoors. Oh my so, goodness. Wow. So you know your expectations and everything that you yes. have. You're so looking forward to something and then find out there's a disappointment right. there. <laughs> and so with all that going on inside and mm. as a child and how I internalized that. Wow. And how I interpret that mm -hmm. um, was uh, not good. It was wow. really a negative. I, but I, I just imagine. thank God yeah. for mm -hmm. um, uh, the transformation mm. of my wow. mind now. Wow, God is so good. God is so, so how good. How old are you when you started walking? I was, um, mm, I remember probably about four or five. Yeah. Mm. Some, I remember not going to kindergarten. Wow. And uh, so I didn't get a chance to go to kindergarten. Or I miss most of it mm. and because uh, I was going through that and then I was so it also brought shame and embarrassment mm. because uh, I wouldn't uh, <laughs> dress up because I had all the scars right. from the surgery right. and um, I wouldn't dress out for PE so I made elves in PE <laughs> because mm. I wouldn't do that and so it just really put a negative um, mark on me mentally but um, through that, I would like to say that if to our audience, I don't know what crippled you. I don't know what you've yeah. gone through. Uh, maybe it wasn't the same as me, but pain is pain. Right. And how we internalize things, I'm telling you, you can wait till you up at my age now and still carry that. And so my husband always say that. The pain of remaining the same is greater than the pain mm. of change. You're going to go through pain, wow. but if you have to allow uh, this change to take place, because prophet, you know, mm. God would just let me know. He says, hey, if you don't change, mm. you're going to be identified by your pain. My yeah. God. And so you don't want to, and let, just think about it. A lot of times we meet people, we don't know. We say, oh, you know that girl that hang out on the corner? Mm. You know that person? You're identified wow. by what you do or your pain so or true, your so situation. True, so true. People wow. don't even know your name. Yes. Yes. They just say, oh, you know that girl that mm. always talking about, you know, that girl, yes. you know, or yes. that person that. And so, but when God began to transform your life. And I just appreciate God because the things that I had gone through, it caused me to make decisions mm. based on where I was. And so wow. when I graduated from high school and, okay, what do you want to be? What do you want to do? And everything, all my decisions was based on this pain. Mm. Mm. It was based on this identity that I thought I, who I thought I was. Mm. And that's so that that's why, you know, a lot of times people say, oh, I want to create this life. But you can't create you can't. a life without that's the right. creator. That's right. And so <laughs> our life is here with Christ and God. Mm. And so if you want your life, you're going to have to get with gonna, God. Yes. You have to get with Christ yes. and go into oh God and find wow. out who you are. Yes. Because I didn't know who I was. Mm. And so, therefore, I'm trying to make a decision decision, you know, about what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we put so much emphasis on what we want to do okay. without knowing mm -hmm. who we are. 
You Jesus. need to find out who you are. Come on, woman. Come on. And when you find it. out who you are, you'll know what God called Talk you to do. It. And because when the you Lord don't know Jesus. who you are, you'll be being this way mm -hmm. one day, that, that way that another way. day. Yes. And yes. you just, we just don't yes. know who you are. Wow. You know, and so the thing about it is just finding my, your identity. And I yes. thank God for finding my thank identity in yeah. Christ Jesus. But you know what? I couldn't do it alone. Mm. I couldn't do that by myself. Jesus. And I know everybody always talking about haters and people and all of this stuff. But you know what? We need mm -hmm. each other. Yes, we do. We, we do. need each other. And we, we do. can't do it uh, uh, mm -hmm. by ourselves. I remember my daughter them doing a live saying, mm -hmm. you know, you can't be saved by yourself. In mm -hmm. other words, you need, <laughs> you need some strong wow. people. You need people that have wisdom and knowledge mm -hmm. and understanding. And, you know, I remember uh, just just graduating from high school and mm -hmm. the first college that came. It was like I'm going there because I thought things were so bad where I was. Wow. And so I, I moved cities. I knew a change that needed to be, take place. Jesus. To my audience, don't you know a change needed to be, take place? Somewhere. You know, <laughs> you, you, I mean, we change our hairstyles. We change clothing. We change mm. cities. We change cars. We do all this outward changing. But I realized that the change mm. that needed to take place was on, on the inside the of inside. me. My and God. so though I changed cities and moved from one place to another, come My on, God. some of us change boyfriends, same husbands, wow. change wife, change. Wow. We do all these external yeah. changes wow. and not realize it. The change has to take place yes. on the yes. inside. Yes. And that's, there has to be a transformation yes. of the mind. So and so that's the thing that I had to learn. And that's the thing that wow. uh, this renewing of the mind. And I remember uh, as <laughs> I was in college and I was in my dormitory room and I was in the bathroom, the little mm. bathroom, looking in the mirror. Wow. And the Holy Spirit spoke through mm -hmm. me to me mm. and said, everybody, you know, because your condition, situation you're mm. in, the first thing we want to blame is everybody. Mm -hmm. right. We want to blame the situation, mm. circumstance, blame our parents, bl blame, you know, the pain that we went through, blame everything, you know. Mm -hmm. And so God said, it's none of that. It's the way that you're thinking. Mm. And he said to me, Mary, if you don't destroy the child, Jesus. if you don't destroy mm. the child memories, the things that you have gone through, he said, you will never become the true woman of God mm. that I call you to be. Come on, come on, come on. Mm. Come on, come on. I was too embarrassed to deal with this situation here, right, right. you know, that, that I'm going through. But woman of God, you know, really and truly, I, I want you to tell us um, how should people really deal with embarrassment? What the thing is it, mm. with embarrassment and shame, mm. you have to mm. confront it. Mm. Come on. Wow. You have to face mm. it. And you have to understand that Christ. What he did, died on the cross, took away our Jesus. shame and embarrassment and everything. Yes. And so once I began to talk about my story mm, and on. to realize there was other people out there like me mm. and real, and God started allowing me to meet people Jesus. that had this, you know, and I start talking and their life was similar mm. to mine and that I understood now that, hey, I, what I went through was because who I'm called to. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so you, if you're ashamed and embarrassed, you're not going to be able to it. share your testimony. Yes. Yes, you sir. know, we like to talk about Paul and Silas Jesus. and Daniel. Amen. But people want to hear your story. Yes, mm. They want to know, amen, you you, what you do when you were in the lion den. Mm. What did you, you do when you were in the fire furnace? <laughs> <furnace. laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I preach about and I talk about them, those, uh, 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 you know, in, yeah. in, in, in the Bible. But there's nothing. Nothing more effective and impact on, than you right. sharing your story of how you got over. My, my, my. And so Jesus. when people come, honey, I'm Jesus. saying, hey, it's all Christ. It's Amen. All Christ. Amen. I, I, you know, my life and my relationship mm -hmm. with God is not a cliche. Come mm -hmm. on, it's not some kind of just just <laughs> something I'm saying, but it's just truth. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a truth. And the thing is, you have to trust wow. Christ. It's a Christ do. who is our life. Yes. And once we arrive to the place that, hey, prophet, we really don't have a life. Mm. Jesus, what we're on. doing is Christ living his life through yes, us. Yes, and once we begin to Jesus, yield ourselves yes. to him and trust my him God. and that realize my that, God. hey, you know what? Jesus. I didn't come from my mom. Yes. I didn't come from my dad. Yes. I came from the mind of God. Jesus. My right. parents Amen. are just vehicles that mm. God used in order to bring me into my this God. realm because I was born with a purpose. That's why I celebrate mm. my birthday, March 31st, because I was in the spirit, in the mind of God. Mm. And God say, mm. March 31st, 1962, here, it's time for Mary to My come God. forth and manifest in the earth realm. Mm -hmm. Come on. In the Bible, Jesus. it talks about where in the beginning was the word and the word was with yes. God and the yes. word was come God. On. Come yes. on. Yes. Say the word was made flesh. Come on. Yes. I'm 
telling you, there's people, they don't mm. know God is a spirit. Yes, but I'm is. telling you that Jesus is the only begotten My son God. of God, but he's the firstborn among many brethren. Yes. Who are the many brethren? Jesus. We are. Yes. Come on. God needs some hands. <laughs> he needs some mouth. <laughs> he needs somebody to uh, mm. open up their <laughs> mouth and wow. declare, yeah. yeah. amen, the word wow. of God and begin not be ashamed mm. to tell your testimony yes. because, honey, I'm not ashamed. Mm. I tell it. When you yes. talk about it first, you see the strength of mm. sin is secrecy. Mm. So if you're trying to keep it secret, mm. then you can't, you're always trying to, you My can't God. really be free in God. God. But the word say whom the sun set free it's is free, free, free indeed. Mm. So I'm saying to you, everything mm. to the audience, to, to everyone that's listening, everyone that's Jesus. watching, I'm Jesus. saying to you tonight All that right. whatever you have gone through, I don't care how messy mm. it look. I don't care how, oh my God, oh my God, I just can't share it. I'm telling you all of that. Mess up don't mean give up, but mm. it means get up. Get it's up. time for you to get up and pursue your purpose because that, that that's on the inside of you, what you don't understand that there's a treasure in you. And I'm telling you today is that God is after that treasure. God's not looking at the outward appearance, but he's looking at your heart and God know what he put on the inside of you. You have to understand that Christ in you, your hope of glory, mm. and you can do this. You can get up from where you are. I don't care. Um, don't you let man put you down. Don't you that's put your yourself right, down on. you got to amen it's not about what people think it's That's about right. what do you think mm. come on what do you think mm. who who do you say you are jesus. jesus asked them he said hey hey who do men say that mm. i am <laughs> the only way mm. you're going to know who men say that he is that you have to have relationship with men too mm. and mm. then he made it personal he said who do you say My that God. i am mm. and God. so the thing is you got to have a personal relationship mm. with god and what we want to do is we want the blessings jesus. but we don't want the giver of the blessing you know we <laughs> want we don't want to present uh, oh yes i hear you saying i hear him prophet they mm -hmm. said lord what more do you want you know what god God want mm. God wants all of you mm. come on you just want to give him part of you mm. come on God want all of you every day of the week Jesus glory to God and I'm encouraging you tonight praise God what you gone through is because of who you called to and I'm telling you amen God have not changed his mind mm. concerning you and you got to stop taking your gift and hiding up on the bushel because there are so My many God. people need what you have to offer and do you not know the very thing that Mary the mm. mother of Jesus carried yes. is was to save the yes. world and impact mm. the world Jesus. but guess what Mary needed it as well mm. so what I'm saying for you that that you're waiting on is looking out of the My windows God. of your eyes mm. so it's My time God. for you to get up and know who you are because prophet we was created in the image and in yes. the likeness of God yes. we came from the mind of God Jesus. we have to understand that the real you is spirit mm. come on, come on mm. one that can it. do all things that there's Hallelujah. nothing impossible <laughs> but you and you know what My I God. used to have low self esteem My and God, God. said you, you, you put me <laughs> way up here and you put yourself way down here yeah. but he said i sent jesus to reconcile hey, come on hallelujah. hallelujah come on to reconcile <laughs> man back to god in order to make us what My one god. with the father yes. he said father don't take them out of the world but keep them in the yes. world come on make them one as you and i what mm. are one and you have to understand who you are that you jesus. came from christ you came from the mind of god jesus. and god sent you to this earth for a reason and for a purpose and it's time for you to fulfill that it's time out for My you to start god. keep talking about it it's time for you to be about it yeah, come on My God, I, I tell you, I tell you, when you think about the <laughs> yes. power of God, yes. you know, and of His righteousness, how God just literally just enlighten us and really bring us to a place, you know, of hope. Uh -huh. um, but woman of God, I, I know that hope. you and your husband have a very powerful ministry. Yes, and you, you know, y'all go to Africa and those places yes. uh, on those Praise missions. God. So tell us yeah. about something that happened on one of those mission trips. Oh, my God. I, I'm telling you, it's just so awesome mm -hmm. because I remember uh, the Lord saying to me, he said that I've called you mm -hmm. as a prophet to the nation. Yes. He said, don't look at the continents of their faces. And he wow. said, I called you there to uh, bring about economic change. Mm -hmm. And so, man, I'm like, okay, what is that? I don't, mm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what you want me to do with that. Jesus. But um, the thing about it is, our ministry is a mentoring development ministry. Yes. And I like to give a shout out to um, the apostle that have birthed mm -hmm. us in ministry, Apostle Curtis Lake the Third, and his father, Apostle Curtis Lake Jr., who is deceased. Mm -hmm. And that ministry has birthed us and mentored us and trained us and sent us forth and. Um, uh, in our gifts, in our calling, mm. and uh, I'm telling you, they it was just really a unique ministry, wow. and really going a part of that particular wow. ministry. Uh, after I went to college, and uh, my aunt attended that church, mm. and 
I, I didn't know anything about apostles and prophets. Mm -hmm. And the only thing I knew was reverend and pastor. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't know about apostles, prophet, evangelists, and, and teachers, and mm -hmm. you know, all of mm -hmm. that. And um, so end up joining this, this church, and this where it started, my mm -hmm. mentoring and my developing, and later met my husband, mm -hmm. and uh, we got married. But going to Africa, God had prophesied and mm -hmm. spoke these things. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I want to put a plug and say this is the hour, too, for the apostles and the prophets to rise. Mm -hmm. and, and because I would, as we read the word of God, you hear that things were spoken, and they say this was spoken, that the words of the prophet was fulfilled you know it was already prophesied mm. prior to and so I'm telling you that a lot of times that these things has been spoken over my life and even my leaders these leaders had spoken these things that I couldn't see it you know mm. a lot of times people say well God will show you first if if somebody saying prophesied to you God will show you first and sometimes you don't see it that's right you, I couldn't wow. see no further than the tip of my nose mm -hmm. but through these leaders, they began to see something in me that I did not see in myself. Wow. And they began to nurture and to begin to mentor and develop me and mm -hmm. my husband and, 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 and launched us forth. But getting back to what you were saying until I'm saying all of that to say that it was prophesied, it was spoken. Mm -hmm. Not only God spoke to me about it, but, mm -hmm. you know, other men and women of God began to say, yes. hey, do you have your passport? Mm. You need to get ready. Mm. And see, a lot of times God speaks things and we don't prepare for the prophecy. Mm. Jesus, come okay. on. To fulfillment of it. Wow. They kept saying, you know, you got your passport. I see mm. you going overseas. I see you mm. going over, you know, and different things yes. like that. And and a woman of God in uh, New York, uh, that door opened mm. and she, I start going there with her. And mm. God just had blessed and God had opened doors and opportunities where Jesus. we spoke to government, spoke to uh, uh, spiritual leaders. Jesus. And, and wow. so that's what we do is go to um, bringing the body of Christ mm. together because as leaders we're asking people to do our mm. congregation to do something that we're not doing right. and so it's a difference between being together and working together mm. and so I just thank God for the teaching that I received that to show us that hey it's mentoring mm. and developing and like in our ministry is that it's, it's not we do everything we don't do all mm. the preaching that's just like you met mm. one of our evangelists right, before right. you met us right, right, right? right and because we always say you're an evangelist you can't mm -hmm. sit up here in the church you need to go out mm -hmm. and so and that's what she do she goes out and God uses her uses mm -hmm. her in the gift and people think oh Mary you're so sharp in the gift I'm like no this girl mm -hmm. <laughs> and she has really mm -hmm. been evangelist turn she has really been a tremendous blessing and mm -hmm. speaking to and it's such a a, a, a a blessing when those that you are birthed and raised up come mm. back and bless you. Right. Oh she God. just texted me this morning. She don't oh know. I was, just, I was just praying up in my, just laying in bed, just praying. And I get this text from her that like she just heard my prayer. Mm. Jesus. Jesus. And so that's what we do. That's what we do. We're raising mm. up the sons of God. And, um, and when I say sons of God, I'm not talking mm. gender. I'm yes. talking spirit. I'm talking maturity. Mm. Right. That that's what we're doing. We're mentoring and developing. Those that are in the calling, especially I have a, such a passion and heart for women because I walk in the evangelistic and the prophetic. And I'm seeing so many that don't understand these gifts. They don't understand. They, 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 they trying to operate in it. And just because you have uh, the gift of prophecy, it doesn't mean you're a prophet either mm. you know and some people work in operating in the word of wisdom word of knowledge and now they're saying they're a prophet and that's not that's not how that mm. flow wow. and so there's a difference in those things and so getting those teaching and being educated and stuff like that is so important but I and that's what mm. we're doing and just going over and also like another um, time went over I was in mm. March in okay. Africa and that was the trend blessing because we did a business women mm. we took the women business that have yeah wow. business women we business mm. women women on the Rise and that's wow. what the the theme was. But we um, had meetings with uh, women that was in business and wanted to start business. And first, we began to talk about and sh show them who they are mm. and, in Christ and mm -hmm. and what who they are and cause them to be fully persuaded in who they are, as well as to uh, giving them tools and stuff and how to mm. um, wow. to operate in the business. And like we always say, don't do business if you don't mean business. Mm. Yeah. And he sent them. You understand to build a church and. Yes. So so you got to understand that we are the church of God. Yeah. All right. Amen. And Amen. God uses vehicles and vessels to minister to our life and to impact our life uh, for good. his glory, for his praise. That we'll get to glory. that next level. Uh, woman of God, I, I wanted to talk to you. Actually, I wanted to ask you a, a question. I know you're getting ready to 
launched something very special, yes. which is called 12... <laughs> Well, it's Mary Pitts Live. And, it's uh, Mary Pitts, Pitts Live. Live. Yeah, okay. Mary Pitts and that, Live. that comes they, on every... It's well, well a, Mary mm. Pitts Live is... Um, uh, uh, I used to be on the radio, but I took a break. Okay. And so um, uh, you can follow me on Mary Pitts Live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Mary Pitts Live. Yeah. And so I'll be starting... Actually, yes. in, January in January, and doing twelve episodes. Twelve episodes at twelve that, twelve that, in that, the that afternoon. That's gonna be awesome. Twelve episodes. Yeah, y'all gotta y'all gotta, gotta, gotta tune in for that. One. <laughs> I'll be not season miss it. one. Season I'll be season one. one. And so, woman of God, what are you gonna be talking about? Kind of give us an idea of what's gonna be the first um, season. Yes. Um, of it is really gonna be. Uh, well, uh, the first season we're gonna talk about uh, actually knowing who you are, mm. and I think that's wow, so that's essential. Important. That's important. Uh, if we don't know who yes. we are, I always use for illustration is that. Uh, like this chair we're in. Mm -hmm. The chair is for us, what? To sit in. Yes. That's why it was made for us to sit. Yes. You can't step in it. It's not mm. a stool. It's not a stool. It's a chair. It's not a bed. <laughs> it's a chair. <laughs> it's a right? chair. Right? And yeah. so if the chair don't know it's a chair, mm. and every time we get to sit on it, wow. it'll be saying, you got to get people up off you. Wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you got, and a lot of times we're complaining about yeah. the very thing that God called us to do. Oh, wow. And, and we don't know that because we don't know who we are. Right. 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 And so it's so essential that we find out who we are. Mm -hmm. And we have so many people, and I could just see it. They, they're mm. not fully persuaded in who they are. Matter of fact, they're mm. still trying to find, wow. find themselves who they are. My God. And, and, and they, they, they find themselves through all this outward stuff, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And not knowing and tapping in who they really are. And, and, and so that's so essential, so important to me. That's really part of my testimony as well. I did, couldn't do what I'm doing until I found out who I am. And once I, I found out that I'm no longer married, mm. you know, born of a woman, a few days and full of trouble. But yeah. <laughs> I realize I'm Mary who is born a spirit, Come on. one that can do all things, that there's nothing impossible with me. My God. And so uh, that I know that I'm a joint heir with Christ, mm -hmm. that I can do all things. all things. Everything I set my hands to is blessed. You know, mm -hmm. uh, there's life and death in the power of my tongue and I can speak it and God will bring it into existence. Mm -hmm. and, and he says that uh, I pray that let, you know, this will be done. His will be done mm -hmm. right. in earth as it is in heaven, in this earth as it is what? In heaven. In heaven. And so yes. that's where we got to get to is that um, back to who we really are, mm -hmm. which is spirit. My God. Wow. And wow, so God that's what so I want to talk about uh, yeah, in the I'm, first I'm season. It's going to be show. exciting. So, yeah, so I'm really looking show. forward to it. Yeah, I, you know, yeah, I, 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 I really so. believe it's going gonna, it's gonna to be really great, really awesome. <laughs> really awesome. And, um, and I know that you're going to also have a kickoff of this. Um, yes, we're going to have a live. kickoff on mm -hmm. December 7th. Wow. Uh, December 7th. And thank you so much for yeah. agreeing <laughs> to make this happen for wow. me. And, wow. you know, God give you a wow. vision yes. and um, he'll bring the right people mm -hmm. in your path mm -hmm. in order to bring it into wow. fruition. Okay. And so I think a lot of us are stuck yes. because we're trying to do everything by ourselves mm -hmm. and we're stressed out. God didn't give one man oh everything. That's right. yes. Come on. You know, there's diversities of gifts. Mm -hmm. And so I, I don't try to do everything. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times I say people that try to do everything, they tend to get in the way of the ones who are trying to do the main thing. My God, come on. <laughs> and so come on. God didn't call you to do everything. Jesus. And so um, I'm so um, thankful for the relationship yes. that's just starting yes. and yes. Uh, some things my that God. God had put in my heart and my spirit mm -hmm. to do. And so I just appreciate you all mm -hmm. for uh, the opportunity. We're going to wow. have it December 7th. And mm -hmm. we're looking at, we said we're going to have it at 1212 on 12, Saturday. 1212. 12, uh, at 1212 wow. p.m. in wow. the afternoon. Wow. So it's going to go live as well. Yes. As well as we're asking everyone to come out. And I'm <laughs> definitely looking for all it's those prophets, awesome. evangelists, yeah. you know, yeah. the yeah. five, four minutes. Those of you that are, say you call, you don't know what to mm. do next step. My God. Amen. We're going to be flowing. Wow. And we're going to allow God to use us. Mm. And I know it's going to be impactful. Mm. So you're invited to come out. Uh, that's wow. December seven. So are you saying it's 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 going to be prophetic? Like what, what yes. can the people expect? I can't be. I can only be. Yeah. 
who I am. Who you know what I'm saying? Who right, I am. Right, and so right. I am prophetic and evangelistic. Right, yes. And so I am, you know, there's mm -hmm. a word that God has been forming in my spirit mm -hmm. and that it's going to be released on my December God. 7th. Wow. And so we're encouraging so, you to be folks here. folks going to be prayed for, prophesied Prayed too, for I mean, as the spirit leads, yeah, as the spirit you know, leads, as yes. the spirit leads. Wow. And that's how I flow according to the spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm not moved mm -hmm. according to the so, flesh. Yeah. And, and, and I know Mary, Mary Pitt's live. So the the um, what you're going to be given highlight to uh, the most in in that Mary Pitt live service, a special launch actually. Uh, the 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 highlight of it is actually mm -hmm. to uh, share about uh, January. We'll be kicking off yes. uh, the twelve episodes yes. of the first season, mm -hmm. and that will be on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Every Thursday, uh, it'll be weekly. Every mm -hmm. Thursday from twelve at twelve twelve mm -hmm. p.m. The reason is twelve twelve p.m. I want to catch those here Eastern on in the U.S. Maybe around lunchtime, mm -hmm. especially Eastern Standard Time, wow. as well as capture my uh, Africa, my audience in yeah. Africa. <laughs> so they're like seven hours ahead. Okay. So I want to capture them. Wow. It'll be evening time there. Yeah. They'll be back home, but yeah. I want to capture my uh, the audience there as wow. well. Well, I, I think it's going to be really awesome. So is every I, I episode gonna awesome. is going to, you're going to have like an audience there or it's going to be more just like. No, it's just going to be, um, uh, we're doing a pre recording and then some, we will have a special edition okay. uh, mm -hmm. on some. And then um, after um, each month, we, we're looking at talking about maybe mm -hmm. have um, uh, a, a live service uh, mm -hmm. after at the end of the month and we're still working on that mm. but we definitely going to be it'll be on so make sure you go to Mary Pitts Live Facebook page yes, and Live. like that page so you can get notifications wow. so we'll be uh, launching that and so I'm really looking forward to it and just awesome. thank God for uh, the opportunity yes. because you know what mm. I'm um, just so full and just really wanted. I have a heart for people and I love people mm -hmm. um, and that's one thing about uh, the ministry uh, Apostle Lake taught us as as coming up and before we even got into like spiritual mm. gifts and callings and stuff we had to get into the fruit of the spirit Jesus, <laughs> it was God. like Amen. you got to love wow. joy <laughs> gentleness <laughs> kindness wow. you know you had to get that you know Suffering. and walk in that you know mm. and so that's the thing about is loving people right. and so God is love and mm. and that's my heart I love God yeah. and I love people and you have people that love God but they don't like people mm. <laughs> love God but don't like people uh, that's crazy but you know it? what I'm saying and so mm. we're complaining about the ones that we're called to mm. right and so who Jesus died for was for what people God, for people for people and so the thing about mm -hmm. it is and so what the enemy comes to steal kill and destroy mm -hmm. prophet that we uh want to separate us yep, mm -hmm. and so we look at our differences my god and so we separate everybody's not gonna look like me act like mm -hmm. me but i need what they have jesus and okay. so we have to learn how to embrace each other giftings the bible amen, says it's diversity of gift but what's the same same spirit mm -hmm. same lord same god my God. Long as that the same, we good. God. That's right. <laughs> I, I tell you, God is truly good. He's Amen. Truly good. I, I mean, you know, I, I believe God is, is, is bringing us into a time of understanding. Yes. yes. You know, the Bible talks about how we see things through a mirror that mm -hmm. is strangely dim, you know, yes. but after a while it's going to be clear. Yes. And I believe that we are living in a time and a season of revelation where God mm -hmm. is going to begin to make some things yes. very clear to us. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe that as he's making these things clear to us that we're in this moment where we have to begin to step out and do the things that God assigned to our life. Because if we don't do that, uh, we could be missing the time, you understand, that God purposed to, to, to bless us mm -hmm. or to use us to bless somebody else, mm -hmm. you, you know? Right. And so we don't want to miss those opportunities. So I'm really excited about uh, the, 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 the launch yes. of your show. Yes. And, um, awesome. and I know it's going to impact so many persons, so many people. And I know you have, you have written that book. I don't have that book with me. But, but, you know, she has written a great book, you know, about yeah. her journey, her experience. And a lot of it is going to also be a part of that. Right. Um, Most that, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that 12 news. So I'm excited about that. Um, and I'm so, excited about yeah. it, too, because, you know, you know, I, God give you things and you just yeah. talk about it. You just say, OK, I'm going to do it. And I'm so such a um, uh, loving people and mm -hmm. so. 
uh, wanting everyone else to do what God called them to do until mm. you find yourself <laughs> not doing what he told you to do. Mm. So, but anyway, yeah. um, I'm just so excited about it and just looking forward to it and just looking for it. Uh, because, you know, uh, as you say about there are some things that God is revealing, God is speaking in mm -hmm. the spirit. And, you know, as you was talking at the beginning of the show, there are so many mm -hmm. different things going on in the world yeah. today. So many, so many. And that's why you need some seers. Mm -hmm. Come on. And um, you need those that see into the spirit, mm -hmm. uh, that walks with God in mm -hmm. the mind of God and that's know right. what uh, time it is. Yes. Not the yes. time on the clock, mm -hmm. but know what time it is. And mm -hmm. so you need these apostles and prophets in your life. Certainly. And so a lot of times we want to embrace the pastor mm -hmm. and evangelist or maybe mm -hmm. and the teacher. And we don't know how to receive from mm -hmm. the apostle Jesus, and the prophet. My God. And so but what we understand mm -hmm. is like I remember years ago we used to have the four food groups. Mm -hmm. And so in order to have a My balanced God. meal, Come you on, had to have all, you know, as children, we just mm -hmm. want dessert, you know. Right, mm -hmm. right, but right. the parents knew it was essential for us to eat those veggies and to get, mm -hmm. you know, proteins and all these other nutrients mm -hmm. in order for us to have a balanced My meal. And, and so what I'm saying today, mm -hmm. in order for us to reach a level of maturity, as in Ephesians says, is that God has gave gifts unto men. Yes. He gave gifts. He gave the apostle, the prophet evangelist pastor and teacher mm -hmm. and and god gave all of them for the perfecting of the saints for the edification of the body and so perfection means maturity mm -hmm. and so there are so many it's not by how many years you've been saved mm -hmm. but are you mature mm -hmm. and some of us Jesus. are so operating in the emotions and Talk so sensitive and it. we're we're immature wow. we at a place and it's time for us to wow. grow up Jesus. And to begin to understand, mm -hmm. praise God, it's not about how many, we're so sensitive. And so, you know, we're living in this time now where everybody is just looking for convenience. And mm -hmm. I love convenience. I'll, I'll pay for convenience, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And, and so, but the thing about it is, I think it's becoming a crutch to us mm -hmm. that we want everything to come to us. Mm -hmm. right. And so now you can order stuff and it Uber Eats mm -hmm. and all these different, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm not to knock that. But what I'm saying is, is that... Anything worth having, you're going to have to get up and go okay. get it. You have to. you watching this live here. It's awesome. Jesus. But you cannot neglect yourself from assembling yourself together. Mm. I'm telling you, you I, I, you know, I meet people all the time where, oh, no, God ain't send me no. But you tell me all the churches in the world, all these places, you are so unique that <laughs> there is no place wow. that you can plan. The plane fly, but it got to land That's sometimes. Right. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? And so the church, God's not going to get rid of his church. I don't care what you think. It's mm. amazing how we talk so much about the church because the church is there to nurture yes. you and to, and to, you know what I'm saying? And so it's mm. just like, do we go in the hospital and say, why are these sick people here? <laughs> mm. wow. Come on now. <laughs> if they wasn't, come on. That's what the hospital is for. It's for sick people. Yeah. And for those that uh, need help. Let me tell mm. you something. And there are some of us that come to church think we're not sick. Jesus. Because we're looking at all this outward stuff. Jesus. But we're so immature in our spirit. Praise God. You want God to use you in the gifts. But you can't conceal a matter. You can't mm. hold water. Yeah. So yeah. it's time for us to grow up. Wow. It's time for us to mature. And that's what our ministry is all about. It's about maturity. And, mm. and so a lot of times people say, well, oh, no, y'all don't believe in salvation, you don't believe in water baptism, you don't believe, we believe in all of those things, but most of the time, folk done been through that, by the time they get to us, right. they're about to say, come on, let me tell you something, it takes nothing to have a baby, mm. but it takes 18 years to raise them, mm. Mm. so mm. a lot of times, that's what the church, we're raising babies, but who gonna raise them, I mean, we're having babies, but who gonna raise them up, Jesus. come on, if you're already saved, why we keep preaching salvation, mm. Mm. Come on, it's time to go to the what? The next level. Next level. God is a progression, God. It's time for us to mature. It's time for us, amen, amen, to embrace and say, God, I want more. There is more. There is more. That You talk about revelation. There is mm. a, a revelatory word that God has, and mm. God is bringing it forth out of the mouth of his apostles and prophets. Praise Come God. On. But he that has an ear to hear, let him hear, hear what, what the, the Spirit, Spirit is saying. Is saying. And I tell oh you, when God. I first met my apostle them wow. years ago, I didn't understand not what they were saying mm. you understand me but something was leaping in my spirit leaping in my mm. womb but you know what it caused me to ask questions mm. we don't want to ask questions because everybody want to act like they already know <laughs> mm. come Little on now my god, <laughs> my god. <laughs> Wow, Ooh. wow. It's, I mean, it, 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 it's just really powerful. And family, it thank is. you for tuning in. I'm telling you, none other than 
Uh, Prophetess Mary Pitt. And I tell you, what's the name of your church, actually? Uh, church is Life Focus Ministries. Life Focus, Life Focus Ministries. And, and our apostle right is here. Edward Pitts, my husband. Amen. Hey, Edward let Pitts. me put this in. Next okay. month be 30 years of marriage. Years. Hallelujah. <laughs> Congratulations. 30 years, six adult children and six oh beautiful grandchildren. Goodness. Yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yes. So we get a shout out to him. Amen. He has oh been such goodness. a tremendous yes. blessing in my yes. life. I, I met him. <laughs> that was a prophecy, too, you know. That was a prophecy as well. Wow. In the church serving in my yeah. church, an evangelist came and prophesied and said, hey, I see many going to call, but wow. you're going to know him. He's going to be a man of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Wow, mm. look at that. Mm, mm, mm. And your and husband some, has wrote a lot of books. Yes. A lot of books. He's writing some gosh. now. How many books he wrote already? Uh, he, he's got six, actually, wow. but uh, he's getting ready to publish. He wrote one, but he's getting ready to publish getting five. Ready to publish five. Wow. Right. Wow. And so the one that he written is... Um, God's vision of what's normal for me. Yes. And that is really a powerful yes. book because we had to understand because he was pastor. I was evangelist at mm -hmm. the time. We get married and stuff, have kids. And but we had to find out what was God's normalcy mm. for us. Wow. We mm. couldn't compare with somebody wow. else because there we looked at other people. There wasn't a wife that, you know, mm. in ministry and husband in ministry. Wow. And so we were trying to we set laws in our marriage that we couldn't keep. Mm hmm. And so we had to get rid of all those laws and because, okay, God, what is our normalcy? And then we had that. My husband had a meeting with the children and family said, hey, this is our normalcy. Because mm. we were comparing with other families and stuff mm. and tried to figure it out. But I just thank God that he helped from you yes. a, a whole lot. Mm -hmm. And you made a statement that just keep, you know, mess with my spirit about being changed from the inside. Mm. Like yeah. It has to be an inside so, job yes. first so that yeah. you can produce to the outside and a lot of us go through stuff men and women where we're holding so much back and we could never reach our full potential yes because we're holding that one mm, thing back so my God. yes when you were speaking it just gave like so much clarity on why we must you know speak why we must tell our testimony mm. even if it sounds Jesus. i mean seems embarrassing or look you know uh -huh. looks embarrassing you know just share it because it's like a healing process you know it's built to help you and you know to help somebody else everything that we go through it's, mm. it's not just for self like it's not come just on. for you come it's on. to help somebody else come out of their situation so that was very powerful and it helped you know me a lot because some stuff i mean just like i don't know if i want to say that but then it's just 